chalk that up to the fucking burp cold opens. Welcome back to what's Corona going on? <laughs> so it's a new. Uh... Yeah, well, it's just dating it, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, I was gonna say, is this like a new like segment that I don't know about? Are we gonna start oh, popping I mean, Coroners? I don't know. You know, Billy, you're on this new schedule. Technically, you and I could like hang out all week if we wanted. Yeah. Except for we won't because Annabelle wants to see me. Yeah, that's fine. At least, you, at least you can go see your fucking girlfriend. Man. Well, maybe if you stop dating a goddamn Canuck, you uh, wouldn't have a fucking problem. Dude, I've del- you know what? Once you go Canadian, <laughs> I don't know how to rhyme it. But once you go Canadian, once you go Canadian, you can't go back. Yeah, you can't. You can't. I just find I just Canadian, find you against two. Contrived and lackadaisical, you know. You just want to date her because she's a nice person. Yeah. And you like her. Yeah, we have good we have good chemistry. Fucking use her. I use her for her love. Just like I use you for your friendship. Yeah, it's been the basis of our friendship for what thirteen years now. (laughs) I don't think we've known each other for thirteen years. Have we? No. 2007? Yeah, so we won't... No. What year did Gears of War 2 come out? Let me check. <laughs> that's that's a good basis. That's a good basis. That's one basis. What year did Gears of War 2 come out? That's kind of like... That's the best kind of friendship is when we don't even know how long we've known each other. <laughs> 2008. <laughs> Oh, uh, close. Yeah, well, I'm close. But, 12 years. But still, so what? We hung out a little bit before that, too. True. So, yeah, like 12 years of friendship. You know what? We could ask, I could ask my mom and be like, remember that one time we picked you up from the airport, like me and Billy? Like, when was that? <laughs> yeah. And she'd be like, oh, that was 1999. And we'd be like, oh, my God! <laughs> Definitely not 1999. <laughs> I did not know you when I was seven. I remember, I do remember, am I supposed to go this way? Who fucking know, man? You know more than I I don't have enough breath. Um, oh no, I've got coronavirus. <laughs> um, I remember, I remember knowing you or seeing you in like elementary school, but we were never friends. Like we never talked. Yeah. I think it was just one of those things. Like, oh, I know that kid. His name is Billy, but that's it. You know. And then I got held back. <sighs> yeah, because they they were so proud of you. So no, like, no, it's because I was deaf. Really? Yeah. It's because I couldn't hear really? anything. I wasn't able to learn. Because I, uh, I was so deaf. Really? Do you have hearing loss? I did. Well, I still do. <gasps> but I was going to say, you should go get it tested, man. I got my hearing tested because... Uh, they, um, fi- they fixed it a long time ago, but I still have some hearing loss. Ma- Melissa has got... Um, she's been in online classes for a bit. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is this shit? No, I don't need, I don't need advanced system care. Sorry. I know, I'm, I know I'm getting fucked up. Um, Melissa has been in online classes for this program she's been in, mm-hmm. and um, part of it is that she's got to do like hearing tests on people and stuff. So naturally, she wants me to be her her guinea, guinea pig, pig for it, which is fine because I'm like whatever, like it's easy enough on my part. Yeah, it's I just, just you know I hear it. Yeah, well, like there's a couple of parts where we like have to do interviews and stuff where like she's um, interviewing somebody with. Uh, hearing loss and blah blah blah. You know, I don't have hearing loss. But does she scream at them? Is no. that how you do it? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. She she put you have hearing she loss? put a, a dummy hearing aid in my ear, and then we basically were like, yeah, I've got hearing loss. I've had it since I was a kid. Yeah, but I, I did get my hearing tested mm-hmm. as a result of that, and uh, I don't have any hearing loss, which is nice. Nice. I know I do. Hundred percent, though. Yeah. But you know, that shit. It's hard, man. Like it's because they put you in an ISO booth, and then they they <clears throat> got these little like tube things with like uh, like that expanding like spongy shit. I don't know what material you'd want to call it, but it literally plugs up your ears completely, and yeah. you can't hear anything outside of it. And they um, play beeps in your ears. Beep. And, like, it gets, like, lower and lower in volume. And it's so, like, 
because you're like trained like you're almost like like your body is like almost like um like making up the sound in your ear because you have that expectation of it yeah and then like i've never noticed it before because i've never been in that scenario but it's like you never like realize like how much your body like makes noise like when you have your ears plugged like that yeah like i i was like literally like at like halfway through had to like hold my breath to like not you know um you know to be able to hear the the beeps yeah because it got so low yeah that it was hard to register yeah yeah i know i have i have problems hearing high notes higher frequencies yeah any any higher frequencies is when i start to only in one ear the other one oh, yeah. the other one is not so bad with high notes it's uh, actually more lower notes on that one. Mm-hmm. So I have like a weird. So it's just. It's like an astigmatism, ear. but for ears. <laughs> I'm sure there's a, a word for it or a yeah. name for it. I believe it's astigmatism, but for ears. I, it's not fucking what it's called. <laughs> but <laughs> if that's how you're gonna, you know, compare it, then fine. But I get what you're saying. But yeah, and that is the scientific term. I have astigmatism, for but the for eye- ears. No, for the eyes. <laughs> oh, so real astigmatism. Yeah. <laughs> I've got real fucking astigmatism. Me too. I was actually, uh, it, was, it was funny, you had a, a Fraser Optical appointment today, yeah. and I was thinking to myself I should actually book an appointment too pretty soon, but I think I might... get new glasses. Yeah, well, because my, like, I don't know what it is, but I guess, like, just the the lenses, like, deteriorate over time. Oh, yeah, you can see with mine. Yeah, that's just how they do it. Yeah, do it around the corner. That's what mine are right now. And it's like, uh... I've been thinking I gotta. I should probably go and get some new lenses pretty soon, but I think... When was the last time you had your... Oh, it's been a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> it's See, been like thought... two or three years, yeah. That's what I thought, and oh, then yeah. uh, they were like, oh yeah, the last time you had it was 2017. I'm like, it's been three years. I thought it was two years. Yeah. Well, whatever. All right, come on. I gotta get the fo- those stupid archers up there. This is bullshit. For uh, for me, actually, I just went. My um, my left eye basically didn't change. Yeah, it's almost completely the same as three years ago. My right eye went two steps up. Oh. So now, but my right eye was one step below my left eye. Oh. So now, uh, now my right eye is slightly worse than my left eye. Hmm. And uh, that's what happened last time. Bef- the, before the time this time so it's they progressively get worse back and forth huh, interesting so I'm gonna have uh, slightly more thick glasses on one side than the other interesting I um I think the last time I went I don't think my eyes changed that much at all actually so that was kind of good to know but I don't <clears throat> obviously like kind of in the moment you don't really realize it if your eyes have gotten any better or worse but you know I mean, they don't get better necessarily but no like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, they haven't changed as much. Um, I don't know. I, I want to go, but I think I think my mom was saying that there's a another place she recommended I go to. I know they... I remember, I think, last I talked to Jimmy or whoever it was, they are like, you should come to the Romeo one, and I'm like, uh, no. Yeah, well, that's the one that my brother <clears throat> no, I know. and my sister... And I know. I, I don't... But I don't want to drive to Romeo when there's one in Richmond. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't like the Richmond people there, so you know, I you That's know what, what I'm not I saying I'm not it. saying I'm not saying I'm a huge fan of the Richmond one. I just like the convenience of being right here. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. you have more of a reason too. Yeah, yeah, because I actually know those people, and yeah. I don't like them. I think they're all bitches. They're all bitches. Yeah, fucking bitches. I think there's another place my mom wanted me to go to. I think there's one in New Baltimore or something. Yeah. There's there's a bunch of different ones. Yeah, I I should I should go soon too. Yeah, I just haven't. I think I think what what with the current events, I might hold off a little bit. But well, as you should because uh, there's almost none open right now. Yeah, like my family is <laughs> is open because it's actually like a family run. Right. And uh, it's, it's annoying. I had I had that thing like marked on my phone like schedule an appointment, and then it's like nope, can't can't. <laughs> Everything's fucking closed now. Yeah, I got to schedule an appointment <laughs> for uh, Boots. Boots! Yeah, he, he had surgery. Um, we we cut his penis off. Really? 
Yeah. Now his penis or his his balls? His penis. Oh. He already had his balls off. Oh. Uh, he had. Um, Poor baby. He had blockage, urinary blockage. Oh no. He had crystals in his penis. Oh no. And uh, basically, male cats have this problem because their urethras are really tiny. Oh no. And oh no. Crystals get like stuck and lodged in there. Yes. Excuse me. Good so, one. <laughs> so basically, there uh, we go. Here we go. I uh, he I was going to go to work, and he comes in. He's moving all slow. He's all really irritated and all that kind of stuff. And I know from the last time, um, it's crystals again. So I took him to the vet immediately because if you don't, and the blockage remains. For a long amount of time, uh, the cat will die. Yeah. So I take him, take him to the vet, and they're like, "Yep, he's got the crystal." And then, uh, bummer, dude. Instead bummer of having angry. to go through this again, he angry, he angry boy. Instead of having to do this uh, all again, we uh, we opted to get the surgery, which is to cut his urethra off. Oh no. And uh, basically guy. make him like a girl's cat. And how, uh... That poor boy. Yeah. That's no fun. So... He took away his manhood. Yeah, but he won't be in pain anymore. And he won't die. Yeah. That's kind of important. So, yeah. Now, uh... He has stitches in him, and I've been giving him pain pills and yeah. uh, antibiotics and all that kind of stuff, and I'm finally out of those. But now I have Stupid. to make an appointment with the vet Fuck to, because they have to put him under anesthesia again uh-huh. to remove the. Um, Come on, dude! To remove the stitches right. out of his butt, so that he out can. Of his butt. <laughs> You know, so he we can actually a, fucking uh, live his life like normal. Right. See, it's... I don't know about you, but 2020 has been, like, such a, like, jam-packed year, and we're only two and a half yeah. months into the year. Three. Oh, well, we're only two and a half months into it. We're in the third month, but it, we haven't completed the third month yet. I don't know about that. This This month is... It seems like it's already over. So they say Patrick's Day. I know what it is. This month is basically over because all we're all going to be fucking quarantined. I know. So it's basically over. But I'm just saying we're only two and a half months into the year. Yeah. And it feels like a whole year's worth of events have happened. Yeah, a lot of shit happened in two in a two and a half months. A lot of shit happened real Um, quick. Because as I was saying earlier, the um, the uh, my basement flooded. Yep. And at the end of January. And then, like, the week after that happened, Kira had, like, this fucking abscess on her face. Ooh. And then that was a whole fucking ordeal. I guess she had, like, an infected tooth or something like that, and it was swollen up, so we had to take her to the bed. She had to get a tooth pulled. Ooh, that's no fun. Yeah. It, but and it's just like, <laughs> shit doesn't fucking end, man. <laughs> and then the coronavirus fucking kills everyone. Or is killing everyone. Yeah. Fucking, let's see. It's been a jam-packed year, and we're not even... I don't remember what happened. What's happened in January? January? I don't know. It started off all right. Yeah. And, and then, then and then for me, it quickly turned into a hot mess because of the, the basement. Yeah. February, for me, got engaged. Yeah, congratulations again on that. Thank you. Good work. And then, uh... Yeah. After that... It's been a hot mess. It's been a hot fucking mess. <laughs> I mean, also I got a promotion, so yeah. it's been a lot of. It's like a lot, a lot of, of good and, and a lot of bad. Like equally as much bad, yeah. It's and been I, a weird time. Yeah, and I don't want to, you know, focus only on the negative shit. But it's just like, man, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this year, like, we're getting the bad out of the way. Early, you know. <laughs> you know that's what we said. I believe in two thousand eighteen, in two thousand nineteen, and the bad just kept on rolling. <laughs> <laughs> bad, 
bad? Can't has it been has it been oh. that bad? I don't I don't even remember. <laughs> That's the thing. Everything's bad in the in the moment that we're you know, when we're in it. But Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. Right now it's like <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in my life and I'm sure like a lot of people haven't <laughs> where it's like the entire world is sh- like closing down and, yeah like on shut down yeah this is the first well yeah. the second major event like this yeah i mean the first one obviously in our lives is 911 but yep other than that like yeah this would probably be the craziest time yeah probably this is more crazier than 911 cuz i don't remember 911 much well cuz i don't know i was a young boy i don't know man the tender it's, age it's hard. Of... It's hard to. It's hard to compare the two. I think. I mean, one of them like thousands of people died immediately. This one, thousands of people are dying over the course of a month. Yeah. A month or two, and nobody has any toilet paper, or noodles, or um, water. Pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. I went to Kroger to visit Anne while she was working. Yeah. And. I saw one of the guys pull out a pallet of water. Yeah. He was fucking swarmed. Yeah, immediately. The pallet was gone before he could even make it uh, to the water aisle, which is right across the aisle. (laughs) Wow. You know, you know, uh, all of it. You don't, like, you can drink tap water. I gotta get bottled water. For when I I like, I like having a bottle of water too, but I'm just saying, like, you can drink tap water. Like, what's wrong with tap water? When the when the uh, the world goes to shit, yeah, and the uh, the water treatment plants and all that kind of stuff stop working, you're not going to be able to drink tap water because there's not going to be any water, yeah, being pumped. So that's where you have the bottled water. Yeah, but we're not at that point yet. Yet, <laughs> that's the thing. Though. We bought all the water now, so that. When, you know, shit, the, the coronavirus uh, turns into the zombie uh, coronavirus. <clears throat> we were saying that at work, actually. If it becomes a Last of Us sort of situation, we all agreed that Derek at my workplace is going to be patient zero, and he's going to be the one who's immune. So we're going to follow him. We're going to go west to Utah and try to find the cure. I got swords. Yeah! I got a claymore. That's what I said to Drew. I'm like, I got a claymore. It's not sharpened on the edges, but it is. It doesn't matter. It is at the end. Yeah, it's, yeah I can. You can poke people bludgeon. and bludgeon. Next time, a chin strap chance to play The Last of Us again. We're gonna bludgeon people. Yeah.